Actually, after the panel yesterday, I was thinking about 2011. It was the best year in, in my entire life. It was, and this year, it was my own my own revolution. I, I really freed myself after the Syrian revolution and after my relationship with with Basel. Uh, now I just remember, or, or just think about how how can we just get uh, the peaceful activism back? What the right way we have to do to to get back our revolution? You know that the revolution are stalled from uh, from us, and it's stalled every day from us. So uh, that's what I, I'm thinking about, especially that we have now after all these uh, years of the armed conflict in, in Syria, uh, we, need, we need love, we need to be loved, and we need to love each other also. Uh, so the, the legacy for me is that's dreams about freedom and democracy and to, to build a new uh, civilian uh, state in our country. Uh, actually, I, I want to make a small introduction about what I was doing in the past because I left Syria three months ago. I, I used to, my, my main uh, mission was in prison um, by visiting the prisoners, take their testimonies and work with them on their rehabilitation and with their, especially their wives, uh, I make a kind of psychosocial support for them. So I stopped going to the uh, to the prison after 22 years in my life after Basel disappearance on 2015. Then uh, I had to change all my role and I, I really suffer from this and I also under psychotherapy because I stopped going there and as I left Syria and as I lost my husband in this uh, in this way and uh, he, he became like an icon uh, for the uh, uh, peaceful activist uh, not only in the Arab world but in, maybe in the world so um, now I'm focusing uh, mostly on the all these testimonies I have all on all the victims I work with uh, to to make a pressure on the uh, governments uh, who are involved in the Syrian issue to take a, a, an action for the uh, for this uh, issue. I mean, detainees and disappeared in in Syria. Also, uh, I'm using my own story to like to establish these principles about forgiveness, about justice, real justice about uh, non-violence reaction, about non-revenge uh, uh, reaction, because you know this kind of violence in, in Syria made like a re-violence uh, against it. So uh, I'm using it by advocacy. And I'm uh, one of the founders of uh, the movement of Families for Freedom, which is the most important think in in my entire life with this such great woman i have this honor to be a part of uh, of them and we now we we pa one year passed about uh, on our movement and we have a new strategy for the 2018 and 2019 uh, after our meeting last meeting in berlin last month so uh, this movement uh, gives me the power and the energy to keep on to go on on uh, on my work besides of my work with the international organization. We are now seven women. Uh, all of us has detainees or disappeared, and many of us lost uh, her, uh, their beloved ones, uh, as me and uh, many others. Uh, we, we made the, the movement, first of all, we made it in last uh, February uh, 2017 in, uh, in Geneva during the negotiation there. Uh, so we just wanted to make a campaign uh, for demanding the, the rights of the detainees and their families and to focus on the rights to know. And uh, during this preparing for for the campaign we found that okay we have to make something stable so we we decided and we made it we established the, the movement and we called it families for freedom and this uh, 
non-political uh, group. Uh, this is not for opposition. We are demanding about uh, all the detainees and disappeared uh, people with the Syrian regime and another uh, uh, parties of the conflict. Uh, and we had many, many events. We had many training. We went uh, to Beirut to have uh, a training with the committee of the, the Lebanese committee of disappeared. Uh, we, we, we went to Bosnia, uh, to uh, Srebrenica. We, we, we created the concept of the red bus with the photos of uh, the detainees uh, on it. We went to London and we went to, to Paris also. We, we are going also to another European countries. Uh, besides our official meeting with, with some parliaments and governments uh, to make a pressure on them, to, to push them to really make something for our, our, our case. I feel love all the time. Um, Maybe you'll be surprised if I tell you I, I feel love even to my enemy. Uh, I, I feel that they, they don't know how to love and nobody teach them how to love. So maybe I'm responsible or people like me are responsible. Uh, one of the reasons, yeah, my psychologist told me lately that I have this uh, passion of motherhood uh, to the old to the old people, so maybe it's right. And uh, one of the reasons, my family, Basel's family, and uh, these great people around me, uh, maybe I don't know many of them, but I, I feel their, their love with me all the time. Uh, besides of Basel, it's always with me and inspire me all the time. Uh, and families for freedom. I have to, to tell you again that families for freedom give me this uh, push all the time to to do, to do so.